So, Mogulu, which way to the worship hall? Hmm, which way indeed? Looks like a I circle. I asked you a question. I told you I've been here before, but I never said I was an expert. And I said we'd dump you if you started to annoy me. Dump me? Then you'll need to look for a trash can first. <sighs> I'm the fool for even trying to hold a conversation with you. That's the spirit. Loosen up those shoulders, and the way forward ought to make itself plain. Also, look at your map. See that it's the other way. Thanks, that only took like five presses. That's, you know, better than it has been. What the hell happened all my life? I haven't been hit. So what the fuck? Away from my healer. I refuse to fall here. What an important room. annoying to get stunned when you're trying to activate the beast mode. Like I'm trying to activate it right now, it's not going. It's still not going. Hey, there we go. There's what, 30 or so fucking presses? It was a close one. I was trying to do it there pretty much as soon as I hit three bars again. It just never went through. Fucking game. <laughs> Feeling nervous, Laffy said? A bit. I can teach you a spell that will help. Like that 
eeny teeny spiny crow thing? No, that was divination to draw back the veil of fate. This spell is a bit of magic that will improve your fortune. Here is what you must chant. Magic Kazam! See? It totally works! I'm not sure. What did this spell do? It's a pointless charm to dispel a pointless worry. If it's pointless, why even perform it? Because humans are creatures that find themselves burdened unknowingly by pointless things. In any case, chant after me. Are you ready? Uh, all right. Magikazam! Magikazam. I can't hear you! Try again! Magikazam! Magikazam. Once again! With feeling! Magikazamazam! Magikazamazam! Again! Magikazamazam! Is that all you've got? Magikazamazam-zam! Shh, keep it down. We're trying to sneak in, remember? What? <laughs> Just an old gag. Shut up. Ow, what was that for? I was only easing the boy's nerves. We have more important things to worry about. Hmm. Demons and Malakim are such stiffs. Magikazam. Huh? Did that help? <laughs> and now the boy consoles me. Well, that was pointless. I remember to sell off my junk. Probably getting close to full on some of it. Why me? Passing through. Got a lot of unused rooms around here. Loan so that he can turn into a demon. Be overcome with the calamity. Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Stop right there! <gasps> Another accurate augury. An ambush. Is this more of your reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. Yet you still defend him? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Mm, make her nice and desperate, Velvet. I just know the result will be something wonderful. <laughs> Stay out of this, witch! 
Stand aside. I'll take care of this right here, right now. I cannot. The law is the like, like, I'm holding down this button very firmly, and it still keeps doing that. Yeah, especially when I cycle. <laughs> I got hit there, but okay. Rukuro. No, I can't really. Yeah, I did it. Come. Let me switch characters, damn it. There we go. Of course, the other dead guy. Heed. Come. Like my water. Not berserking. Why are you still not berserking? <laughs> Fucking berserk when I say to berserk. Like right now and now. There we go. Wait, did I just snap right out of it after getting into it? I didn't even get an attack off! Fucked. Wipe! Utter bullshit. Stand aside. I'll take care of this right here, right now. I cannot. The laws of the Abbey are clear. Light heal up! See this? Move Fucking berserk! Okay, just keep standing there and getting hit instead of doing what I say. Go 
Holy shit, it went off in two hits. I guess I should only be flabbergasted if it goes off in one, but, you know. Two is way above par for the course. Like, the Berserk mode sticks sometimes and doesn't go off, but the, the PG move almost never goes off. So it goes from using all of my revives to not needing to revive once. The difference it makes when it actually activates when I say to. Or at least after five hits instead of thirty. They have the advantage at range. Crush her head. I'm on it. You are, Bienfu. Did you think you could run from your true mistress? M -m Miss Mokilu? I'm putting you back where you belong. You, descendant of prison the Seventh Grove, see our vows renewed. May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void. Remember this true name I bestow unto you, Fushi Cass! Yes! Bad bed! <laughs> oh, now it is on! That power... Are you an exorcist? Wrong. I am a witch. For whom the universe is a plaything, and the souls of men but motes. Oh, but if it's a name you need, call me Miss Mogilu! A human consorting with demons? Have you no shame, girl? <laughs> Oh, hey, how about... Don't just... Are you swinging at? Goddamn switch. 
No, I can't die here. Cute. Doesn't respond when I tell it to swap, finally responds, and she dies when I'm swapping. I can heal the wounds, but Stand aside. Never. Six network error. Back real quick. Huh? Seems to be working fine for me. did I did for the sake of the Abbey we needed money to build the temple that's why I sold the nectar I know I was wrong to produce so much of it but, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could let's talk this over who ordered you here was it the sick was it the doctors or No. Was it Artorius? I knew it! Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence, does he? Who called it? Bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet? Did I, did I not say he was gonna turn into a demon? You can't die now! You think you could read books when you're dead? <sighs> Don't you die either, Velvet! Priestie's getting away. He won't. I'll hunt him down.
Oh, that's good to know. So, not even the hu- All right, now it's up to you. Thank you. 
My priest is immune to demon blight. I guess he hit his limit. People still rage out and become demons. Uh, how is this different from before the whole calamity thing got solved? What was that? Unnecessarily loud is what it was. What? What is that? Bigger, badder demon. The demon returned to human form? And what is that beast? Panatherian. There's a barrier here. Or a barrier. So what? The Abbey is holding this thing captive? This barrier. I know it well. It seems our errand has met with success. At least technically speaking. Right. Let's get out of here. What did you do to the High Priest? What is this demon? I don't know. And I don't care. Do not mock me! You are the mockery. What do you hope to do to me without your exorcist powers? <laughs> Gonna be our sixth member? That was some night, though. Stay sharp. Dawn hasn't come yet. Stealing a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Mogilu? First, first. The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he betrayed me and ran away from his rightful home. <laughs> Miss Mogulu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madame Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. <sighs> I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again! You're an exorcist, then. Eh, I'm a witch, silly! Bianfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> Enough, Velvet. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. What to do? Fuck you up. Killed guards before. Okay, so he's back. You did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear at all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcists can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malachim. Hmm... So if we had four powerful Malakim with us, we could slip through. 
But Malachim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. Yeah, three. Made a fourth. Well, I may not look it, but I'm a greater Moloch. Aizen, Lafiset, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu though. You have no courtesy. How about it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. Would you come if we asked? To attack the shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu, um, I, I would like it if, if you came with us, P please. Luffy said. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Allies of the ones trying to kill the Savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear, all of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Don't say I didn't warn you. Velvet, wait. My, my. I can't blame him. It's been a long night. Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away. You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. Oh shit. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough. If what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. Urging. Actually, just become guards and infiltrate. I'm just pretending. Ah, <sighs> what joy to face a clear, refreshing morning, especially after a long night of meting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor, battered body. Fuck the you shit out of that little thing. Key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? Huh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. Do you think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat, but it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. 
I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. All right, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphjay with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Those Sylph Jays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. I hear grilled Sylph Jay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. It's not a thing. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Malachim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island, and a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. So that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, it's not really a they're funny really story. hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the sylph jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't even think about it! <laughs> it was worth a try. <sighs> Hello again! I'm Bienfu, a Moloch! Nice to meet you all! Just so you know, I'm a greater Moloch. You're a greater Moloch too, Luffy Set! I'm sure we'll get along great! I'm... classified as a greater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. Yeah, you look like You're a, a greater bit. Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self-worth? They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're so kind. You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. And our roster of the Oblivious grows longer. I hear the High Priest was injured, and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. 
Indeed. I want to believe it's just that. A rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all! Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the High Priest was murdered, and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. Out? Are we or are we not trying to topple the government here? Right, I know. <laughs> That's what I said. Mogilu, you know how to speak dog? <laughs> of course. It's Witchery 101. Wow. What's it saying? Humans always say every dog has its day, but I've never met a dog that had its own day. What about me? When's my time in the limelight? As you can see, he's very upset. Sorry, boy. It's a dog eat dog world out there. I think she might not actually be able to talk to dogs. Better dogs have really dumb conversations. Yeah, seriously. I know, come on. What's this dog saying? Humans always say, let sleeping dogs lie. But do you ever let me nap? No, stop all the petting and let me sleep. I mean, come on, practice what you preach. That's what I always say. You humans are all bark and no bite. As you can see, she has a lot of criticism for the systematic injustices practiced by a hypocritical and tyrannical human society. That is one astute doggy. Uh, that just makes me think of Piccolo. Hey, I remember you. I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits. The ones who did that job act in Logris. Mad Lou's Menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. Get it right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right! I was there in Port Sexton business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Sexton tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious! And that magician's dove trick, too. <laughs> sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. 
Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it! If you insist. But just a warning. There's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Mogilu's menagerie. See you at our next show. into the church. Sinner, and repent to your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today. Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? M me But uh, my life is in service to the Empyreans, I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you! Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please, forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? Oh, no. I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you! Alright, I gotta sell my trash items. I remembered eventually. I went past the point.
This recipe looks real tasty. All right, now it's up to you. Show them how I fruit. Lord Artorius's speech really struck a chord with me. I'm sure everyone else in town feels the same way. Actually, it would be problematic if they don't. Why would you have a problem with that? One word, lady. Business. The ceremony to move the great Empyrean Enomenot is going on now, right? 
After a speech as moving as that, anyone would want to offer a prayer to the new Empyrean, which is why I'm selling commemorative chalices. They've just come in from Port Zexon. Oh, Hainominat's blessings are many indeed. Are you decorating the chalices with anything? I'm just about to deliver them to the craftsmen to get them engraved. I just hope all this effort doesn't go to waste. Impossible. This is the perfect opportunity. I guess amateurs just don't get it. <laughs> I may not know business, but I know how this story ends. Artorius, this ceremony, all of it. I'll end this by my own hand. Okay. What's that? Oh, that statement could shake the very foundation of man's relationship with his self-professed best friend! Huh? What did he just say? Humans call us man's best friend, but they consort with the foul felines. The hound may be faithful, but not the man, he quietly stated, a look of betrayal in his eyes. That's a shock. I didn't know dogs felt that way about us. You jealous dog, you. I've been feeling really out of it recently. Ew. I was much happier when I was drinking sweet, sweet nectar. Me too. It suddenly got a lot harder to get. The price shot up 20 times in the black market. I came to the capital hoping it'd be easier to find, but no one's got any. Give it up. It's got vermilion ore in it. What? Vermilion ore? I heard that stuff is crazy addictive. Real bad news. It'll be easier to quit now that it's harder to find. Real sailors don't need that crap, right? Yeah, you're right. I don't need nectar. From now on, I'm going to the bar after work. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip. Right, just become a raging alcoholic. am so time to decide if I'm going to sleep or not probably not I'll probably be back shortly but uh, this might be the end <laughs>